my gems so how are you guys doing today I hope great this is gonna be um, a tutorial and um, this is the look that we're going for this was um, inspired slash requested by um, Amore Infinity thank you Amore for the great idea and this is basically my spin on a June bride using blue um I was going to add falsies, but I decided, you know, since the look is a little bit dramatic, I didn't want to overdo it with the falsies. So, if you do want to add falsies and you try out this look, you can definitely add the false lashes. So, let's jump right into it. The eye has already been primed with Mary Kay um, I, I, um, eyeshadow base. And then I used the NYX, sorry, on my um, lid and a little bit above my crease. I'm using my Beauty Treats palette. This is the only eyeshadow that I will be using. Um, I figured that while I'm doing this bride look, there are a lot of brides that are getting married. Um, some want to do their own makeup and don't want to spend a ton of money on doing makeup. So, why not try and use something that's cheap. I'm going to use my Baker Mirror, so um, forgive me for if you guys happen to see it in the video. And we're going to take this light blue. We're going to be using these two blues. This light blue in the inner corner here and this darker blue in the outer corner and then we're going to use this black in the crease and this brown as the highlight so um... let's get started um... bring you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can kind of just see what i'm doing I kind of just pack the color on. Um, I noticed that when I use the Mary Kay base, I do have to pack the color on, but that was the one first thing that I grabbed earlier. So when I did the other eye, so I decided to um, kind of just stick with that color, and you're just gonna pack it in, and then you're gonna just wipe your brush off. Use the same brush because you don't have to use many, and um, you're gonna grab the darker blue. And you're going to put the darker blue on the out, outer corner and then you're going to blend. Make sure you blend really well where those two colors meet. And drag it up. You're going to want it to show a little bit above the crease because you are going to blend it out anyway with the black, but you still want it to be where you can see it. And just pack the color on. And then once you do that, make sure you just blend where those blues meet. So you're going to pack that on and you're just going to blend. Okay guys, so once you have that color, basically those two blended out, let me bring you guys in so you can see. Once you have those two colors blended in, you're going to go back in with that black that I showed you in the palette, and you are going to blend that black in, and while you're blending it in, you're also going to blend down, because you're going to blend down like the color. Don't worry if you blend too much of the blue out, because that soft blue, it does tend to blend out really easy. You're going to go back, and you're going to put a little more of that blue back there so don't worry and don't worry you will fix the corner of the edge to get it nice and crisp just like this one um, and once you get the black on there you don't want a lot because you don't want it to be too dark you're going to take that brown that I showed you and I'm going to show you guys that brown again which is this brown here in the corner and I know it looks kind of goldish on the camera or whatever but it is a brown sorry my lighting is a little different now um, I kind of wanted you guys to be able to see me a little bit more and not the light be so bright you're going to take that brown and you're going to put it right on there and you're going to blend it out you're going to blend out that black 
because you don't want the lines to be so harsh. You want it to be like a little natural. Once you do that, wipe off your crease brush because you don't want that black on there. And blend. Then you're going to take your eyeshadow brush, go back in your in your blue, in your eyeshadow um, palette here, that blue there. And you're going to pack on a little bit more blue and kind of drag it up and get everything situated. This blue is a very hard color to work with. I noticed with lighter colors they sometimes tend to be harder to work with so just do your best to get it to be to look as much as you can like the other eye and again just blend a little bit okay now what you're gonna do what I'm gonna do is um, where it has where you need to clean the edge I'm going to take a Q-tip and makeup remover and clean that up. Um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add milk under my eye here. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys the rest. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I'm going to take my Milani liner in um, blue eyes. And I'm going to uh, take that underneath my lash line, my lower lash line. Okay, once you do that, you're going to then take and do a uh, black liner on your waterline, and then you're going to apply a black shadow just to set it so it doesn't run. And the black liner I use is um, just NYX's pencil black liner. And the black shadow I'm going to use to set it is just the black shadow out of the Beauty Treats palette that I have. And I'm just going to use a thin angled brush, like so. You guys can see. And apply the black. Okay, once you have that, you are going to apply black liner to your top line and you're going to add mascara um, and then you're going to clean up any mistakes. I will be right back um, with the finished look and let you guys know anything else. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, really quick, what I did was what I used on my lips is my Avon Gla Glaze Wear in Rose Me Young and a very pretty color I think it's supposed to be darling pink that is what the Avon book said that is what the label said that I got off of here so I think it may be labeled wrong but um it's a super nice pink color it's just kind of sheer and for my cheeks I'm gonna add this blush here which is called flushed um I got this from um, a friend of mine but she got it from Victoria's Secrets and so I'm just gonna put like a little pink blush on my cheeks not a lot I am not going to suggest bronzer for this look but if you want you could add bronzer but I'm just going to add like a little bit of pink blush on the cheeks you know just to give your face some color um again I know this could be slightly dramatic for a bride um here's the look I do know that this shadow on this side came out, this eye came out a little better than this one, but you know, hey, sometimes that happens, but like I said, I'm not going to edit up this video, you know, um, too much, so I wanted you guys to see, but this is my June Bride look, um, so if there are any brides out there that are getting married and you guys happen to use this look, let me know, oh, one more thing forgot to do, I'm so busy talking, um, add mascara, which I'm using the... Covergirl Lash Blast 
um, length um, and volume one and you just add a little mascara and there you go so it really g gives a nice look nice pick me up so I hope you guys like this look and I will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye